The level of destruction out here is indescribable. It's going to be a very long road to recovery for the Tampa Bay area. What I'm fixing to show you is a simulation similar to what they did with the 2019 COVID SARS simulation through John Hopkins. This is a simulation for what Hurricane Phoenix, AKA Hurricane Milton, will do to the Tampa Bay area, folks. Please do not turn this off. I'm also gonna show you footage you cannot find anywhere else. Guys, please pray for Florida. Hurricane Phoenix, just south of Jamaica now. Phoenix is currently expected to make landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 2 storm. But, of course, always, we are keeping a close eye on this system. There has been a noticeable shift in the forecast track from the NHC overnight, which now brings Phoenix into our viewing area, possibly as a strong hurricane. Now is the time to begin those preparations, folks. We have breaking news this morning. If you're just joining us, the National Hurricane Center has upgraded our entire viewing area to a hurricane warning as Hurricane Phoenix is projected to make landfall as a major hurricane sometime tomorrow. Mandatory evacuations are in effect for all coastal regions. Forecasters say this storm could be one of the strongest ever to hit the Tampa Bay region. We cannot stress enough how crucial it is that you finish your storm preparations tonight. Conditions will deteriorate rapidly tomorrow morning and evacuation routes will quickly become impassable. Please don't take this lightly and heed all evacuation orders. Folks, this is unfortunately the worst case scenario unfolding for the Tampa Bay area. Phoenix is now a category five hurricane with maximum sustained winds at 160 miles an hour. The wind gusts up to 200 miles per hour. This is catastrophic. It is a historic storm and unfortunately making a beeline right now for our area. We have a live look right now at North Tampa and Polk Street. I believe this is near Hawa Coffee. And as you can see, the storm surge has completely inundated downtown. Law enforcement now is reporting that all bridges have been cut off by storm surge. We're looking at up to 20 feet of storm surge in some spots. We're trapped on the third floor of the Tampa General Hospital parking garage in the storm surge is up to the second floor of the hospital. St. Petersburg is essentially an island right now. A viewer from Brooksville is reporting roofs being torn off of businesses there, so this is a very important reminder that this is not just a coastal storm. We are seeing significant wind damage well inland. The damage this morning is unimaginable. The beaches are essentially gone. The Howard Franklin Bridge is completely destroyed. I've never seen anything like this. Officials are scrambling to clean up debris from local airports in order for supplies to be flown in. We are getting reports from Homosassa of residents trapped by downed trees. There's not a single business that we've driven by that doesn't have significant damage. Tampa General Hospital has told us that they are unable to receive any patients after the hospital suffered significant damage from wind and storm surge. The level of destruction out here is indescribable. It's going to be a very long road to recovery for the Tampa Bay area. Some break records. They're going to do nothing but break records for their so-called climate change agenda. And this is an attack on the American people and humanity, but it's also being done in other countries. They have hurricanes going to France or something this week. We're not the only ones being attacked. Don't feel so special. But this is a major attack on Florida at this moment. This is the previous hurricane. I showed how it was pinpoint accuracy from the start, to, from birth to, to the end. They already knew exactly what it was going to do. 
but I want y'all to pay attention to. I messed it up. Pay attention to these harp devices I explain on these ships. I thought I did a pretty good job. Thank you to the warriors. Please watch this. Blood levels can exceed. Let me put it where I want it to. Stand by. I'm going to start it back a little bit from the ships because I think the uh, surge is very important. So what you're seeing here, guys, is along the coastline of Florida. And I had done a video for you guys about a month ago talking about the fish die off in Florida right now along the Keys. Well, what you're seeing is this person is showing you that you can actually Google Earth this and you will see harp and other you know, radars underneath the ocean along the coast of Florida. Now, I'm going to let you use your imagination as to what these radars could be used for. I have my own opinion, but I'm going to let you research and see what you come up with. Drop it in comments for me. We plan to execute between 70 and 80,000. We plan to evacuate between 70 and 80,000 people. Two knots. What's weird? Designate a port, not recognize. Where's he going? He's just out of gear setting here. There's another one. Two knots. It says he's going to Houston, but he's only doing two knots. He's a long ways from Houston. Way up here. All oh, these boats are going somewhere. 13 knots. 11 knots. They're cruising. They're going somewhere. Why are these guys just kind of setting here? There's another one at two knots. Says he's going to Houston. At two knots? Well, that's going to take a while. These ships do 14, 15 knots. All right, we'll see what this one's doing. Okay, there's another one. Absolutely out of gear. One knot. You can walk faster than that. These ships could pump out smoke for days. What's this? The white moon. One knot. Not moving. I went through this pretty detailed yesterday. What is this thing? See, these are storage and production. That's for the oil company. That's a drilling rig is what it looks like. But it's not moving. You can find this video at The Real Fishing Life. What's this one? Floating storage production. Port not recognized. It's not going anywhere. It's doing zero knots. That it's moored. I don't really know how deep it is right there, but I know right here it's 8,000 foot of water. You're not anchoring. What he's trying to tell you is they may be creating the hurricane that is currently in the Gulf because they're not going anywhere. They're just sitting there anchored in the Gulf.